Hello fellow kid and welcome back. This is the first of the last few remaining episodes we have left. Specifically, this is called the Remaining Extra Areas Arc. Or there's gotta be a better name for it than Remaining Extra Areas. Got the Shriving Stone. So today we're gonna go through the untended graves. A lot of this is eerily familiar. And... Yep, it's dead. So over here we get the Ashen Estus Ring, which basically... It's like the normal Estus Ring, but it works for your Ashen Flasks. There we go. So, first thing you can see is that this is basically an alternate wor version of Untended... of Cemetery of Ash. Come on. There we go, that's better. Soul of a Crestfall Knight. Now, I believe there's... There we go. Got a large tie-dye shard from that. So, those Grave Wardens are the most dangerous enemies in this immediate area, aside from some dogs. Got a Titanite Chunk. Yep, just like the old days, when we were so weak and naive. Really? So that's 377. 679. Just to try this out. Or not. That was my fault. I actually thought I could hit him. Turns out really high railings. Now, over here are the last two crystal lizards, ravenous crystal lizards you find in the game. You know, the big ones actually attack you. Basically, there's two of them. So... Let's see if this will work. Wow. They're magic resistant to all hell. Oh shit. Oh shit. It knows me. Run. Run. Hopefully they turn around her. Or not. Or still wants to kill me. And repost. There we 
There we go. Two Tynite scales from that one. And the other one also drops two Tynite scales. Okay, repost, repost. And tight end skills. So you go over here, there's no soul item, like there was before. I f In terms of lore, I'd have to say for what little I know, this is what it would be like if you decided to let the flame die out. Not like you served the fire, but say, nah, let the flame die. Oh, we're doing fine so far. And there's Crime Held. Yeah, she's dead. She drops nothing, really. But our essence is restored, so that's a plus. Oh, look, it's a fire shooter. Uh huh. Ah, A15. Large soul of its third corpse. Shoot him. Several summoning signs. What? I'm hearing footsteps. so far. This is basically retreading well, again. For those who know it by now, basically retreading our first stomping grounds. The boss? Well, that one's gonna be a fun one. Because you'll recognize the boss. That's all I have to say for now. Let's see. Where else? I mean, our sorcerer builds pretty much. No, oh, that one's dead. Forgot that one. And we got hidden blessing. Ah. Ow. Okay. Really? Lock on this absolute annoyance. Ah. Richard Runkle. I don't get it. 
And, ah, Swordmaster! So he shows up again. That was my fault. That was not supposed to happen. Yep. That's right. We're fighting Gundir again. But it's not Udex. It's Champion. Oh, John. Eddie's faster and more angry. No, 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 no. And he's dead! Yes! So, got Soul Champion Gundir, and yes! Magic does make everything easier. Champion Gundir Bonfire. There's one more thing we have to do. First, let's grab that item over there. And it's Black Knight Glaive. Or Black Knight Halberd in Dark Souls 1 and 2. It's actually the first Black Knight weapon I think we got. Hold on, let's see. Now we have Black Knight Sword. And I think we have Black Knight Great Sword. Wait. Oh, no, we don't. I was wrong. Okay, where is it? It's a halberd, so it should be here somewhere. Twenty-eight strength, eighteen dex, more or less quality build style weapon. Open the door. Not like I've been saying it every repeated paragraph from in every video. Our sorcerer is basically strong. Now, at basically around solo 100, we're gonna have 60 intelligence. Before I got our deadline for attunement. And the rest of the points are just gonna go towards vitality, because I have no idea where to put those. There's nothing over there if you're wondering. But, there are Black Knights here. Specifically, I think there's like five of them? Or four? One... And we got Black Knight Great Axe! Apparently, everything towards the end of the game has a higher drop rate. I don't know why. Sneak up on him. Back step. This is number two. Oh man, he didn't trap anything. That's a shame. But that's two of them down. Oh, I was kind of right. There's four of them. I was wrong in the sense that I thought there were five of them. You look around this corner. Yep, one of them over here. Stab and slam. And we got black that armor. That's good. Let's grab our chaos blade. Yep, where you would fight the sword master, you get the katana chaos blade. Okay, let's face it. It's got 16 strength, 14 dex requirement. Why is the dex requirement lower? You figure with it having a much higher scaling of dex, it would be a higher dex requirement, but... 
Curved Dragon Greatsword from Dark Souls 2 did the same thing. It's like, you need 30 strength and 18 dex to wield it. Even though this thing's, even though this weapon scales in dex primarily. Basically, attack, when you attack with it, you also damage yourself. And it's a Twinkling Titanite weapon, I believe. Again, check with Audrey if you want to upgrade it. Initially, there are ways of getting this weapon early game, but that was from NPC glitches. Where the NPC have... The NPC summon die once, then you come back, and you quit as they die, and reload, and summon them again, and the NPC will be immortal. You still have a chance of messing it up, but... You know... But then you'd have a powerful... Helper to basically take the heat off for you. And actually fight the boss for you. But... Here's the problem. They patched that out, so you can't have immortal NPCs do your work anymore. It's a shame. Now you have to actually be really good at getting, like, soul level 1 good. And there's a glitch. Now we grab another one of the Knights of Gwyn Rings, the Horton Ring. This is a PvP ring. It's actually kind of useful. I wouldn't use it, really. Not my thing, but it boosts critical attacks. So, basically, very deadly for those who like to parry. For the most part, it's almost a one-hit kill with that ring equipped. And we're in... It looks like Firelink, but it's called Dark Firelink. Now we grab the Coiled Sword Fragment. It's a fragment of that Coiled Sword we'd initially put into, but... It's like the Aged Feather from Dark Souls 2, or... Infinite Homeward Bones. But you could trade this into the Crows for a Titanite Slab, so there you go. Because... At a certain point, you could buy Homeward Bones like they're candy. And find them like they're candy. Fragments of a Coiled Sword of Bonfire, which served this purpose long ago. Retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. So even if it's broken, you're, you're still able to kind of use them. Like in the High Wall of Lothric. We're right at Broken Coiled Sword we saw when we turned around upon first entering. Even after it was pretty much destroyed, we were still able to use it. Oh, and here's a Shrine Handmaid. Let's say hi. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? So, she'll sell us the priestess ring, which increases your faith stat by five points. Kind of useful if you want to use certain weapons. A sword, straight sword, without having to invest any points at all into faith. Or add some casting implements, which have 12 faith or less as a requirement. But she also sells the Wolf Knight set, aka Artorius's armor. If you want to buy it, go ahead. And here's a piece of lore. Basically, like I said before, if I did, I'll take the Legion of Fair, it's Artorius's successors. And we did kill his successors. And there's the Dried Finger. It's an unlaid play item. Used to strengthen connection to other worlds. Allowing the summoning of a third phantom, also a second dark spirit. Let's buy that. Let's talk to her again. To skirt the curse's grasp. Tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember... Fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already. Like the poor girl. <laughs> Best not That's ominous, but we go over here, we get Blacksmith Hammer, you can trade that into the crows for Tynet skills. 
There's not much here. There's nothing where Yol would be. If he died before you managed to level up your Dark Sigils to five, you'd find his ashes. So what he'd have. Now I think about it, we could kill Yuria because her purpose is kind of ceased. It's useless. But uh, that would be horrible. On the other hand, you do get armor. Yuria's armor set from her ashes. Now let's go to where our arena is, because here we'll find another item. Specifically, an item used to achieve one of the endings. Eyes of the Firekeeper. Reveals horrors, horrors to a sightless Firekeeper. A pair of dark eyes set to be the eyes of the first Firekeeper and the light that was lost by all Firekeepers to come. Reveals to a sightless Firekeeper things that they should never see. Well, let's get out of this giant dump. Unless you want to go back here, all you have to do is evade the Black Knights. Pretty sure they don't follow you in. The reason why I didn't say Fire Lake Shrine, because again, in some way we were at Fire Lake? Let's give Ludlif. Well, Ludlif's ashes. Our soul. Now, well, two things you can make with them. Gundir's Halberd, very decent weapon, 30 strength, 50 dex. Mostly a strength weapon, I think. Or it could be quality. It's got the highest durability of every anything in the game, aside from armor sets. Power to break poise. Ha! <laughs> ha! That's a funny joke, since poise doesn't work like everyone thought it would. Some would say it doesn't even work at all, but. Here's another stat boosting ring. Increases vigor, endurance, and vitality, basically by five points each. But you take more damage, like ten percent more. So if you want this, there you go. Ash for the link. Very then hey. Oh, let's level up. There we go, fifty-seven. And we'll give her the eyes. Ashen one, are these... Are these eyes? How gracious of thee, Ashen one. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. So after you give her the eyes, the music changes. Well, we could give her the firekeeper's soul, because why not? Ashen one, this is... Much like what lies within me, then let it find its own place within my bosom. She will understand. We are both fire keepers after all. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Very well, then take. Okay, I don't know why I selected that. That was accidental. Now, I believe it costs like eight. This the cost for healing our Dark Sigil now is like eight levels. Basically, we need around four hundred fifty-six thousand five hundred ninety souls to level up eight times. Because we have eight Dark Sigils now. But we can do start. that later. This is a really haunting music based on giving her the eyes. So we're done with this episode, and next time, we'll probably tackle the last area of the game that we haven't. Arch Dragon Peak. See you all then. Praise the sun, praise the moon, praise whatever. Goodbye, everyone.